if I classify respiration, can we do that? Yes, we can. Based on the respiratory substrates. Interesting point. Respiration can be classified into two types based on the respiratory substrates that are used to produce energy. Used to liberate energy. See, the floating respiration and the protoplasmic respiration. Floating respiration and protoplasmic respiration. Please note it down. Two types. Based on what? Based on criteria is respiratory substrates that are used to produce the energy. Fine. Let me explain what are they. First, let me explain the floating respiration. What is this? Floating respiration. Substrate. Carbohydrates and fats are used. So, floating respiration will be the is the respiration where the substrates are carbohydrates and fats, not proteins. Well, this is one of the most common mode of respiration. Very important point is toxic products are not formed if floating respiration is happening. Toxic products are not formed if floating respiration is happening. Fine. So, that means it keeps the cell healthy. Okay, it keeps the cell healthy. You know, energy is required for all metabolic purposes, right? So, cell uses this floating respiration. This occurs indefinitely. These are the reasons. Common mode of respiration, no toxic products are formed. So, floating respiration occurs indefinitely throughout the life of the cells. Please note this point out. Floating respiration occurs indefinitely throughout the life cycle of a cell. Right? Got it? No toxic products are formed. One of the most common modes of respiration. You know, all cellular activities will require energy. Maximum from where, which type of respiration this energy will be extracted? Floating respiration. What are the substrates used? Carbohydrates and fats. Would you like to know about the next one? Protoplasmic respiration, how it is happening. Uh, can you give me a hint? Okay, uh, like take this into yourself. Carbohydrates, fats gone into the floating respiration. What is left? Proteins. Proteins, right? Proto protoplasmic respiration. Substrate? Yes, the protein. This is one of the rare mode of respiration. It's not a very common mode of respiration. Fine. So, proteins are used as the respiratory substrate. See here. Toxic products are formed. In floating respiration, toxic products are not formed. But there's an exception. In an exception. In legume seeds, okay? There is an exception to this, which is the legume seeds. Here, the oxidation of the proteins is referred to as the floating respiration. Please note this exception. Okay? The exception is in legume seeds, proteins are utilized, but they are referred to as the floating respiration. Otherwise, in all other cases, when substrate, protein is used as a substrate, it is known as the protoplasmic respiration. But except legume seed where protein is utilized as the substrate, respiratory substrate, but it is called as floating respiration. Everyone got it? Okay. Now, you know what? Uh, so, you understood that protoplasmic respiration produces toxic products. So, it's not much desired by the cell. If it's toxic, that means toxic accumulation will result in killing of the cells. The cells will not want that. So, you understand why proteins become, uh, stand at the third position. First carbohydrates, then fats, then proteins. Because it's not favored. It's not favored because it, it results in the formation of toxic products, which is not desired for. Correct? 